You've taken the lead on the Commission's paper, on the report on the Commission's paper on the exchange of tax information. Are you happy with the Commission's proposal? Yes, we support the Commission's proposal. We think it goes in the right direction. It imposes uh, an obligation on member states uh, to automatically exchange information contained in the so-called country-by-country reports. Country-by-country reports are uh, tax, broad tax information uh, filed by multinational companies uh, in the countries of residence. And on that basis, member states will have a possibility to check, to cross-check and double-check to what extent multinationals that conduct business activities in several member states pay their due share of taxes. Both the Special Tax Committee and the Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee have voted in previous reports for full public disclosure of country-by-country country reports. Is the Commission's proposal a step backwards on this? Not really. The Commission proposal is based on the OECD standard. The OECD member states have agreed to have a certain threshold above which the companies would be obliged to, uh, to uh, file country-by-country country reports. And this threshold is 750 million euro turnover. Uh, it's not that high because it covers actually more than 90% of all taxable turnover in the European Union. So a very large majority uh, of companies is covered. Uh, if we introduced uh, unilaterally a lower threshold that would be uh, mandatory for EU companies, we would uh, uh, put those companies uh, at a competitive disadvantage vis-à-vis -vis other non-EU OECD companies that would not have to fulfill this lower threshold. So simply in order to, uh, to ensure the level playing field and to avoid double standards, we support the proposal by the Commission. But that threshold, whilst it does cover 90% of revenue approximately, it only covers about 10 to 15% of nat multinational companies. Surely this is information that uh, they have to provide in their accounts anyway. Why, why not make this um, mandatory? And why not, as has been requested by many NGOs, make it public and, and as has been requested by the tax committee itself? On the transparency issue, the argument is the same. We don't want simply to put uh, additional obligation on EU companies vis-à-vis -vis their competitors from third countries. Uh, we are all in favour of having more transparency and lower threshold, but it has to be negotiated at the global level. That is, we have to go back to the OECD and try to negotiate and convince our partners that this threshold should be lowered. And then, of course, we are prepared to support this initiative. But simply otherwise, we, would, we think that uh, we, uh, uh, imposing this obligation only on EU companies, we would somehow gain very little, but we would impose additional costs which are quite substantial. Would you have liked to have seen the issue of the threshold raised at the anti-corruption summit being held in London today? Yes, I think so. This is a perfectly legitimate issue. I think we should try uh, to, uh, to improve the taxing system, to increase its uh, transparency, to make sure that taxes are paid where the value is created. And this is something which the European citizens uh, expect from us. Another issue that will be discussed at the Anti-Corruption Summit will be the issue of tax havens. What action would you like to see taken in this area? Well, I think the key issue is to have a broad international consensus on uh, uh, reducing the number of tax havens and on improving transparency. We should close down possibilities of having uh, 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 countries that uh, invite uh, multinational companies or rich individuals that, uh, uh, that can uh, simply register there and not pay taxes anywhere. And uh, the tax uh, reports by those individuals or companies are uh, secret. I mean, this uh, is to, to, to be addressed, right? So we have to put pressure on countries that offer such uh, exceptional, uh, exceptional uh, uh, welcome conditions for uh, taxpayers uh, across the globe. We have to put pressure on those countries to somehow reduce this. We cannot deny uh, this, the right of sovereign states to have their own tax policy, but this has to be transparent. And this information on companies going to other uh, tax jurisdictions in order simply to avoid paying taxes should be made public.